This is the Vodafone voicemail service for Martin. Please leave a message after the tone. Dad, Dad, what do I do? Bub's gone into labour. Imagine the world without mobile phones. Imagine we all spoke through paper cups and string. You're joking me! And then I said, you can't do that, your mum would be really angry. How much did you say? That's a rip off. No, I'm not coming in at nine. You just don't understand me, mum. How would we organise our social lives without our phones? Okay, we'll meet in Nando's, yeah? I can't believe you, it's over! We rely on our phones to easily connect with each other. The history of the mobile phone is long and boring, so we'll try to shorten it down a bit. Once upon a time, in 1876, a man called Alexander Graham Bell invented the first ever phone. We'll call him Alex. So, Alex went and invented the first ever corded phone. Watson, I need you. However, only the rich could afford phones in their house back in the old day of Alex. Until 1973, when Martin Cooper, or Marty, finished developing the first ever mobile phone. He called it... The Motorola 85 Gun Tag But what phones do we have? Hi, I'm Holly. I've got Sony Ericsson. I'm always on Facebook. Hi, I'm Fraser and I've got a Blackberry. I love Royal BBM. My name's Molly and I have an iPhone 4 and I chat to my friends on it. Hey, I'm Ollie and I have a Blackberry Curl. I use it to text my friend Sandy. My name's Jen and I don't have a mobile phone. Breaking news! A girl of 13 has dropped, dropped her mobile phone in the bar. I can't believe I broke my phone. A lot of people have a negative opinion on mobile phones in school. Jen, I've told you a million times, no phones in detention. What does our head teacher think? My name's Matthew Longdon, I'm the head teacher of the Toynbee School. Why do you let students have mobile phones in school? Lots of our parents need to be able to get in contact with some students if there is an emergency or they need to pick them up or they've got a brother or sister in another school and they're delayed picking them up or whatever. So it, it's for that reason really. What is your opinion on how our reliance on mobile phones have increased over the years? I get really sad because all you see is young people wandering around going and adults do it and they spend their whole life doing this and staring at basically a piece of metal. And I just think that's frightening. The whole art of communication, of conversation, is just gone. Thank you for your time, Mr Longley. You're welcome. We asked our local police officer for some information about mobile phone crime. It's at PC 20422 Kev White from East Lee Police Station, and I'm the officer that sort of represents the school. PC Kevin spoke to us about his experiences of crime involving mobile phones and social networking sites such as Facebook. The minimum offence is, is uh, misuse of communications where obviously you use them for the wrong purposes. Yeah. Um, and then you can get into harassment like bullying where they use smartphones to put things on Facebook, um, Twitter and stuff like that. But despite some disadvantages, phones can be useful in our learning, like in this drama lesson. Well, we've finally come to the end of our film guys. I didn't realise how much relied on my phone. I know, it's amazing how they come into our daily day life. And how they've changed. Not to mention how much they've changed how we are. It's been really interesting finding out about... Me! me.